All right, so I'm replacing the Trek rod. This is the outer ball joint here. This is the inner ball joint. This is an advisory for both ends on my MOT. They've both got play in them. So I'm just replacing the whole rod. If we look at the old one, I've done the other side already. You can see, for instance, the inner joint here is just flopping around and there is a bit of play in that. I can feel that that's worn. If you're not quite sure, the track rod sits, it sort of connects behind your wheel there onto the knuckle and on the other end, on the inner, it connects to your steering rack. So when you turn your steering wheel, it basically pushes this rod out or pulls it in, obviously in unison with the other wheel and that makes the wheels turn left and right when you turn your steering wheel. So that's what that does. This ball joint here and here just gives it the movement that it needs. The first thing to do is to jack up your van and then secure it with a jack stand and just make sure that if you're working on the near side that the back of the wheel is pointed all the way out so you'll need to spin your steering wheel all the way to the right and then vice versa with the other side. So yeah, the track rod here, this is what we're replacing. Uh, if it's just your outer, if it's just your outer ball joints, you can just replace this end bit, it screws on and off there. But like I said, I'm just gonna take the whole thing off and then replace both ball joints. So what we've got under here is just an 18 millimeter nut. And I'm just gonna clean up the thread on this a little bit with a wire brush. And then I'm gonna crack this nut open and I'm gonna unscrew it to the bottom but leave it just on the bottom of there for the moment. <laughs> okay, why struggle when I can slide a bit of old exhaust over the end? I've got a lot of leverage then. There we go. Okay, so this old track rod should just pop out there. I mean, it's just like that essentially. We need to pop it out, but it's all stuck on there. So I'm gonna try whacking it with a hammer first, a few times. If I can't get it loose with a hammer, then I'll use the ball joint splitter. Okay, this is a ball joint splitter, and this is gonna help a lot. This basically just goes on there like that. Just need to open it up a bit more. I'll just give it a whack. Give it a whack with a hammer. Get it on good and proper. Now as I tighten this up, this is going to be applying pressure up that way because the bolt is pushing that down that way. And then tighten that up nice and tight and then give it a few more whacks with the hammer. Oh, that was a lot of work. I was 30 seconds away from getting heat on that, but just managed to get that off. Now we can take this nut off. That nut basically was to protect us um, because when it comes apart, there's a lot of force there. It can sort of fly out. The nut just keeps it in. Well, we can take that off. And now we just need to move on to disconnecting it from the inside. So what I'm gonna do first is get this gator out of the way. If you look on the new rod, you've got this sort of rubber ring here 
there's one on this old rod all I've got to do is pull the rubber off that ring <sighs> like so and you can slide that just out the way there you go totally out the way okay and just for the sake of convenience I'm just propping this this rubber gator back out of the way I'm just wedging something up there it might be delicate so be careful with it if I just pop that there that's just holding it out of the way and now we can access this now if we look at the end of the new tie rod just for a 32 mil spanner to go on and all we're doing as you can see by the thread there is we're just unscrewing it so it should be as straightforward as that however I can't get this on there that appears to be a slightly larger size which is a which is not ideal so I'm gonna to have to improvise with grips Yeah, look how sloppy that is. So I've got the new and the old, and what I want to do is I want to make sure that they're both set to just about the right, just about the, the same length. And we do that by adjusting the end here. We can spin this around to move it either out or in. I mean, it's not too important for me to get this completely accurate because the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive down to the garage and get my alignment done and they will adjust all these so that it's all right. But I wanna get it roughly right and I'm measuring from this edge here to the center of this pin, the center of the ball joint. I can see that that one is longer, so I'm gonna to need to move that in a little bit. I reckon that's close enough for the moment and I've just made sure that this this nut here is just keeping this in the right place. So that's what I'm going to use. I may have to unscrew this but I can just screw it back on up to that point. Now we're just doing pretty much a reverse of what we've done already. So I'm going to screw this on. I'll screw this onto here first. Tighten it up with a 32mm spanner. Get this boot back over. You can you can just pull it. There we have it, nice shiny new tie rod, outer ball joint, inner ball joint, that's two more advisories off my MOT done. All I've got to do is just put the wheel back on and then drive to the garage, get it aligned. Cheers. <laughs>